Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. Today we are working on a bridal bouquet um, for Miss Taylor. Um, she is getting married this weekend and so we're going to work on her bouquet. A couple of weeks ago I worked on some faux flowers for her. We did um, two arrangements that were going to go on barrels. We did um, a bridesmaids bouquets. And so today we're going to do her bridal bouquet, but we are going to use fresh blooms and some artificial blooms so that it'll blend with her, with the flowers that she chose for her bridesmaids. And then of course, we're going to put some more pompous grass plumes in with it. I'm starting out with a armature. So this is a chicken wire armature. And what I've done is basically make, made a little grid. I've taken the um, chicken wire, I folded it over and it's just kind of a little ball of chicken wire is basically all it is. Now what this is going to do is it's going to give my bouquet structure and it's going to be very easy for me to arrange the flowers in a style that um, she's pleased with. So I'm going to start out with some white fresh white hydrangea blooms. I'm going to take this stem and I'm going to feed it right down into this armature. I'm going to take a second bloom, do exactly the same thing. I'm just feeding it right down into my grid. Now what I'm doing is you can see how my blooms are separated by the wire grid. That helps me because when you hand tie a bouquet, um, what happens is they all, they all clump together and they don't really have much separation. So when I do it this way, and use the armature, it helps me to separate those blooms. So it's not quite so crowded and, and clumped together. Is try, that's, I don't think that's a beautiful word, but it works to tell you kind of what I mean. I'm going to open up my phone. I have a photograph of a picture of the flowers that she had in mind. Quite honestly, I have never done a bouquet style like this before, and so it's kind of exciting to do something a little different. I The picture does not have hydrangeas in it, but all of her other bouquets have hydrangeas. So what I'm trying to do is make sure everything blends very well using the same types of blooms that we're going to use throughout the wedding. Next, what I'm going to do is I have some pretty blooms of white roses. I am going to remove their foliage just because it's not necessary in this arrangement. I'm going to blow it open just a little bit and I am going to tuck these blooms right down into this armature. I'm going to remove any of the, um, of the petals that don't look lovely. Sometimes the one thing about a white rose is petals get bumped or bruised. Be sure to go ahead and remove any of the damaged petals. Um, the bridal bouquet and the flowers to wear are often photographed very close. So the um, photographer usually gets really, really close to a bridal bouquet. And so it's always good to be sure that those blooms are just perfect, okay? So there's a couple of white roses. I have one more stem of white. Now, it would have been smart had I gone ahead and removed all of the foliage before I got started, but that's okay. I'm just taking and removing that foliage and I'm just working that rose right down into that bouquet. Now, what the difference really in this bouquet is going to be is it's almost, um, it's almost flat on one side. You're gonna see, you're gonna notice as I get this made, that it's going to be almost flat on one side. And that's because the picture that she showed me is done in this style. Next, I'm gonna come in with this pretty pale pink rose. I'm blowing it just a little bit. Now, I am not working too hard with these roses. I want to make sure they're going to stay fresh and beautiful for Saturday. They are going in a cooler, so they are going to be fine. But you don't wanna start pulling them back and um, if you start 
um, flaring the roses, you're going to cause them to be very soft and it's very likely that they may not hold up through Saturday. Next, what I'm doing is these are pink dahlias. These dahlias are the exact dahlias that we are going to use in, we, are, we have used in all of the other floral work. Um, they are artificial blooms, but I've used artificial all the way through. Um, she wanted her bouquet to be fresh, but I could not match these dahlias, so I'm going to go ahead and use the faux that um, we've used throughout. So I'm just taking those blooms and tucking those right into this bouquet. And then I'm gonna take these roses and I'm gonna move them just a little bit to make sure that we get those where you can easily see them. I am gonna take um, one stem of the dahlias and tuck it back here in the back. It's actually gonna be up against her dress, but I want the back to be pretty. So if they lay the bouquet down, the back is still pretty. Um, so I made sure to tuck that bloom there to cover up some of that empty space I had there. So we've got three stems of roses here, a couple stems of dahlias, and then one back here, one pink rose here, And so when looking at a picture, what I do is I just kind of try to repl replicate where the blooms are placed in a bouquet. Now, of course, these blooms are not anything like the picture, but that's completely okay. As long as we can get them in the style of bouquet that our bride liked, that's really the main thing. I'm taking um, a couple of these, these petals off just because they don't look pretty. Tuck that stem right in. And you're just working these blooms right down into that armature and it just holds them right in place it's wonderful actually okay i'm gonna i'm gonna hold off on this other pink oh no we're gonna come in with a little bit of white stock i'm gonna slide all of those um leaves off i'm gonna tuck it right down the, into that armature Again, this style is a little bit different than what I've done before, but I think it's really nice when you have to work with something a little different. I think that's always fun, and it makes designing even more fun when you get to work with something and do something a little different. Okay, um, let's see, do I want one more? All right, so I have got some white stock, white hydrangeas, white roses, um, pink faux dahlias, and then pink, pale pink um, standard roses. Next, I'm gonna come in with some of her um, pompous grass plumes. And what I've done is, it's got my nose itching. <laughs> I have taken these plumes and kind of cut them into smaller pieces. I am just going to tuck them right into this bouquet. Now, she didn't want too terribly much of the pompous, but she definitely wants it in there. So we're gonna tuck some of this into this bouquet. And I think the part that I'm gonna like the best is when we start with the foliage. We've got some pretty eucalyptus that we're going to use. Now when working with an armature, you're going to find that you have to be sure to cover that armature because you can see it up underneath. I'm gonna turn it around and see. You can see that little metal um, chicken wire up underneath. So you always have to be very careful to cover up that, that chicken wire. Okay, so there's her pompous. Okay, so there is the pompous grass. Next, we're going to come in with some eucalyptus. So throughout the the wedding, um, all of the other flowers, I have used some of this silver dollar eucalyptus. So again, I am going to use it in this bouquet. Now her picture, 
does not have silver dollar eucalyptus in it, but I wanted this to blend with everything else. Therefore, I am going to use the silver dollar eucalyptus here. So I'm just taking it and placing it right up underneath this bouquet to give us a little bit of a drip. So you can kind of see how it has a pretty little drip there. Move my desk just a little bit. Kind of dripping there. And then it, this picture does have um, baby blue eucalyptus. And so that is this beautiful spiral or baby blue uke. So I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna pull off these bottom leaves Tuck this eucalyptus right down. I'm gonna just nestle it right down in to that armature. It's going to have these, um, these pieces that are kind of sticking up. It smells so good. To me, the um, eucalyptus just just makes the arrangement because it smells so pretty. So I'm just tucking a few stems. And I will clean those stems off in just a minute when I get ready to tie it off. But here we go. So this is her bridal bouquet. Um, of course, I'm going to stand back and look at it, make sure everything is in place. Um, and then what we will do is we will tie it off. But this is the style she liked. Quite honestly, it really is very lovely. It turned out so pretty. And again, it's really fun to have to work with a style that I've never done before. Um, it just makes you better, doesn't it? It makes it makes you be able to design things that, that you're not so used to doing. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to tie off this bouquet. Um, I'm gonna strip all of these leaves off of that eucalyptus. And then what I'm going to do is just take some, this is called um, waterproof tape or bulldog tape. And I'm gonna take it and I am going to tape those stems together. So I'm just gonna go around with that tape and tape those stems. Now something else that's a little different with this bouquet is instead of wrapping this tape with ribbon, we are going to tie a loose bow that kind of has streamers hanging down. Um, but I'll do that in just a minute and I will be sure to take a picture. But there is our finished bouquet. Let me tell you one little trick about holding your bridal bouquet. When you are the bride or a bridesmaid and you have to carry a bouquet down the aisle, I want you to think about resting your arms or your elbows right here on your hips. I want this bouquet to fall right at your belly button fall right there at that, at that waist. What happens in a wedding is you get so excited that you grab your, your, the arm of a groomsman or the groom and you hold this bouquet up toward your head. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that's the first thing that we think to do, but we tend to hold it up. I want you to think about holding that at your waist. Always rest your elbows right here on your waist and hold this bouquet down. It's a much prettier picture and it shows your beautiful face. So be sure to always do that. And as a florist, if you are a floral designer or if you're making a bouquet for a wedding, try to tell all of the girls, the bride and the bridesmaids, this exact tip. It just makes for such much, much prettier pictures. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions about floral design or how we do things here in our flower shop, please don't hesitate to ask. We are so happy to answer those questions. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We are so thankful for each and every one of our new followers. And if you like to watch videos, um, you can check 
check out us um, our Facebook page where we do video live videos every afternoon. Guys, y'all have a wonderful day and we'll see you real soon.